hi everyone you're welcome to my channel my name is favor daniel and in this channel i give sewing tutorials and sewing tips and today we're going to be learning how to make this beautiful vintage shirt now if you're just seeing my video for the first time do well to hit the subscribe button now the first thing i am going to be doing is i have all the pieces of my shirt already cut out i have my sleeve I have the two piece for the front and one piece for the back. I also have my facing. So if you would like to see a cutting video on a video on how I cut out all the pieces, just comment on just leave a comment. Now the first thing I am going to be doing is I am going to be taking one side, one part of the front and I am just going to be ironing my overlap like this. That is the 4.5 inches extra on the front. I am going to be folding it in and ironing. So I am just going to be making sure the notch the place I notched on the hem is in line with the upper side so I'm just going to be ironing it flat and after ironing I'm just going to be folding about half an inch in I'm just going to be folding half an inch in like this and ironing too I'm also going to be doing the same thing at the other side of the front so the next thing I'm going to be doing is I am going to be using my hemming gum to just hold it down so that it doesn't move so I'll just be placing my hemming gum I won't place it all the way to the top I just place my hemming gum, my hemming gum rather, and then I'll iron just to hold it in place so it doesn't move when I sew. And as you can see I did not take it all the way to the top I stopped about two to three inches from the top as you can see so I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other side so I have gone ahead and I'm going to be doing the same thing for that side So here I have gone ahead and um, I've done for both part of the front so I am just going to be trimming off that excess I have at the top there. As you can see. I'm going to be doing the same thing for this one. Just trim off the excess. So having done that, I would take all my pieces to my sewing machine and then I'll start joining. So here on the sewing machine, I have my back piece already laying flat here with the right side facing towards me now i'm going to be taking one side one part of the front and i am going to be placing it wrong side facing the wrong side and then i'll make sure the shoulders align as you can see the wrong side of the back of the front facing the wrong side of the front and then i am going to make sure the shoulders align 
like this and then I am going to be placing my facing on it now for the facing I am going to be making sure that the right side of the facing is placed on the right side of the front I'll say it again the right side of the facing is is placed on the right side of the front which means the wrong side of the facing is it's towards me so from there I'm going to make sure that the shoulders align too and then I'm going to be running half inch stitch across So I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other side too. I'm going to be making sure the right side, the wrong side of the back is facing the wrong side of the front. I'm going to be making sure the shoulders align and then I am just going to be placing the facing and then sewing so half an inch the same thing we did for the other side now this video is going to be in two parts because this is the full sewing video so it is going to be in two parts now this is the part one and I will be uploading the part two soon So after making sure that the shoulders are aligned, I'm just going to be running half inch stitch on it too. So after doing that this is what I have like I said you are going to be placing the wrong side of the front facing the wrong side of the back and then the right side of the facing facing the wrong side facing the right side of the front And after sewing, this is what your shirt should be looking like, as you can see. This is what your shirt should be looking like. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is I am just going to be flipping the, the facing over to the back side. Now this is the facing already sewn and this is the way it should be placed okay so i am just going to be flipping it over to the back and it should be looking like this i'm going to open this up so that you can get a better view of what i'm saying okay so after flipping it to the back this is what I am having so I am going to be pinning the place I joined the two side of the shoulder I joined so that the facing can be smooth at the back so that I don't have any bulges anywhere I'm just going to be using my pin to hold down together with the back
so after pinning it down I am just going to be folding half an inch inwards and then I'll take it to my sewing machine and just run a stitch on it like that as you can see I just folded about half an inch inwards like this and I'll be taking this to my sewing machine and then I'll just run a stitch at the tip there okay guys so after stitching this is what and as you can see because I pinned it down it's looking very relaxed and you can also see the inside is very neat the joining on the inside is neat too so So this is what the shirt is looking like now. So this is exactly what the shirt is looking like now. And if you've been following me, you should have exactly like this. And as you can see, the back is also smooth and neat. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I am going to be notching the center that point where I have my folding and then I'm going to take it to the machine I'm going to be turning it backwards like this and then I'll be running about quarter of an inch stitch on it as you can see I'll just run quarter of an inch stitch. I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other side too. I'll just flip it over to the other side and then run quarter of an inch. And after doing that, this is what I have. And I have also gone ahead and notched. I also went ahead and notched it. So now I am just going to be ironing it down. And also remember, we didn't we didn't um, put our hemming gum all the way up. So I am going to be using my hemming gum now to hold it down at the top there. After turning it like this. So I'm just using my iron to make it smooth on that side and then I'm going to be using my hemming gum to close that little opening I have there I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side too So after ironing it down, this is what my shirt is looking like now. And I also went ahead and, and ironed the um, actual shoulder. You know, since this is a vintage shirt, the place where we sewed for the shoulder is not going to be the place the actual shoulder is going to be. Now to get your shoulder, all you have to do is make sure that the front and the back aligns well at the bottom part. And also make sure that the shoulders align too. So I'm just going to be setting this aside and then we are going to be ironing the sleeves. Now 
I have cut out my sleeves already and I notched about two inches on the side that is going to be where my folding is going to be starting from now I'm just going to be ironing the folding now you can decide to double fold this and then run a stitch on it but I do not want any thread to be showing so I am going to I am going to be using my hemming gum to hold it down instead now the reason why I am doubling my hemming gum is because since I am not running any stitch and I want to make and I want to make um, make my shirt last like so in order for it not to start um, moving I have to hold it down with my hemming gum and that is the reason why I doubled the, the hemming gum so after placing my hemming gum I'm just going to be ironing it down I'm going to be doing the same thing too for the other sleeve after ironing I'm just I'm just going to be folding my sleeves in my sleeve into two and then I'm going to be ironing the reason why I'm doing this is because in order for me to get to the center point of my sleeve which I just notched and I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other part of the sleeve so here I have my two parts already ironed and notched now to sew the sleeve to the shirt like i said the place you sewed the place you joined together is not where the actual shoulder is to get the shoulder you have to make sure that the bottom part the bottom part aligns well as you can see both the front and the back aligns well you have to make sure that the armhole too aligns well like this so so here now i have my shoulder already nursed so that is the point where my actual shoulder is going to be so i am just going to be placing the notched part of the sleeve with the notched part of my shoulder of my shirt rather. so this is my armhole and I am just going to be placing my sleeve right side facing the shirt and I am going to be placing the notched parts together like this and then I am going to be pinning it down I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side I'm going to pin it down from center all the way to the end of the armhole and to the other side too So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and then sew about half an inch all the way through. So that's it for the part one guys.